These guys that are experiencing this game for the first time, the guys since we left, one of them. Um, when I just tell them, just stay poised, let everything come to them. Like, don't be, I mean, it's a good time game, like a rivalry game, man. But just don't get caught up in hype. Uh, as soon as you get caught up in that, you lose focus of what we're here, what we, what we will be there for. So, I mean, just take it as another game and do whatever we got to do to win. What's, uh, what's Coach Brandon's approach been in his first season? Someone kind of local but outside the rivalry. What's his approach to the game? Um, we really haven't really spoke too much on the game. Like, you know, we was worrying about taking care of Vermont. So now we're going back to practice today. We're getting after today, and then we, you know, we'll see where his focus is. But I'm pretty sure he's going to have the same focus as he had before. Um, do what we got to do offensively, defensively. And I mean, they're going to be a good game. They're a great team. So, I mean, do whatever we need to do to win. So. Sure Trey, you said before that you have to you tell the young guys to stay focused, but what is your method on staying focused and not buying into all the hype that surrounds this rivalry? I mean, I mean, just continue to do what I've been doing. Uh, continue to try to lead, you know, continue to try to be a leader. Um, myself, just use the things that I learned from like the older players being, you know, in the position <coughs> like Gary, Kyle, you know, going back to Octavius, you know, just using the things I learned from them in like big time games like this. So, you know, not just getting beside myself, not trying to go out and do too much. Just doing just you know, just keeping it simple and do the same thing that we did last year to to win and the same thing that we practiced to win now. The crowd's always gonna be wild. Is there any benefit to, to being on the road in this game? I mean, not quite. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always gonna be wild, yeah. But we, I mean, we got an older team, so we, I, I'm not too worried about the crowd, like, you know, getting to no one's head or like, not throwing us out of our game or anything. Chris, obviously, grew up in Kentucky, you know, probably aware of the, the rivalry growing up, or what were your thoughts of it? Uh, I mean, I think it's right up there with all of the great rivalries in college basketball, and uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere over there, so I'm just looking forward to playing in. Is because you kind of grew up close by, what, what do you say to the guys who maybe aren't from around here, who are new to it, who, who don't understand the history? Have you had, either of you had to explain that to, to them at all? I mean, not really. I mean, I think they understand the importance of the game. And uh, at the same time, we just got to treat like any other game, just prepare the same way, the same focus, and can't let like, all the outside hype get to us. Have you been to the game as a visitor? Have you watched the game in person before? Uh, I've watched it, but I've never been to the game personally, no. Chris, Trey, what? this is your fifth shootout. Um, how would you describe the atmosphere compared to other games? Um, it's just way more rowdy. Uh, it's way more rowdy. Um, fans way more, you know, like uptight. Uh, <laughs> nah, seriously. <laughs> but I mean, not a bad thing. But and you could really see, like, I mean, we know we have a like, huge support system, but you can really see the support behind and from the fans, you know, especially during the crosstown shootout. So. It's just gonna be way more intense. Um, like cross on shooter, like Cincinnati is like the city's on fire, you know. So that's my explanation of it. I guess. How how often when you're walking around town during the course of the year do people mention this game to you? A lot or not at all? Or? Uh, kind of, sort of, a lot. But I mean, a lot of people just say just beat Xavier this year, just beat Xavier. But I mean. We say the same, so yeah, we got you, yeah, we will. Yeah. That's mainly, you know, they don't really bring up, like, like nothing crazy. They just say, make sure you be Xavier this year. Being in this year fifth one and being here for a while, how have your feelings about Xavier changed over the course of your time here? Well, I'm going to be honest, my feelings have been the same because, like, I'm not from Cincy. Mm -hmm. I'm from Georgia, so the rivalry, yes, I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of the rivalry, but it really don't matter. I just want to play basketball. I just want to win. It's more for, like, the like, kid, you know, people come up this area. So, I mean, my, my feelings never changed against them. I just want to win um, and keep going and win the marks. You talked about coaches' approach kind of always being the same. What about as a player? Do you do anything different on a game day like this, knowing the intensity is going to be higher? No? No, nah, I prepare the same way that we do for every other game. Keep it simple. Prepare the same. Anyone else? How's your tooth, Chris? I got that fixed this morning. Yeah. Right, really. Feeling okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling all right? Yeah. Had you ever had anything like that before? Yeah, it's been chipped a few times. It's the same one. So. Oh, really? Oh, man. Hopefully it stays like this for a while. Did the chip break or did the tooth break? The chip broke. Okay. <coughs> I wouldn't think someone as tall as you would get as many chipped teeth as that. <laughs>